In this video, I'll be comparing StoryPod, the Tony Box, and the Yodo Mini. In the StoryPod comes a quick start guide, an iCrafty, a USB mini charging cable, great for on the go, the StoryPod, and a free crafty. Taking a closer look here at the product, great shape, great size. Um, easy buttons here to navigate on the top, including buttons for some of that interactive content StoryPod comes with. There's a removable washable sleeve, uh, available in different color options. Pick your kiddo's favorite, including Daniel Tiger. We've got a carrying strap here on the side and then across the bottom, built-in option for night light. Um, there's where you plug it into charge and then we have that headphone connection for quiet listening. StoryPod also comes with this pamphlet here. I love that it dives deeper into their philosophy, um, their content based on stages, so you can get a little more information on that, see the different content available. It also has a how-to guide for their recordable iCrafty Owl, um, and then a cute little thank you from the company and blurb on the back. In the Tony box, you get a setup guide, the Tony box itself. This came with a puppy Tony and then a charging dock station. Great for charging at home, not so great for charging on the go. Here's a closer look at that Tony box. Obviously it's a box, square shape. There's that charging dock um, spot at the bottom here. Snuggable, durable, also comes in a variety of colors. You can choose your kiddo's favorite. Headphone connection at the top and those little silicone ears will adjust the volume. Here's the Tony uh, setup guide, a cute little welcome to the Tony universe, any information you need to start listening, as well as some content available, and then you can open it up and see some of the different Tony characters available as well. In the Yodo Mini, we have the Yodo Mini speaker, a welcome instruction card, a make your own Yodo card, and then a USB-C charging cable. Here's a quick look at their welcome card, simple to the point. One thing I love about the StoryPod app is that admins and uploaders option. That's where you invite family and friends and they can record under that iCrafty. And there's also some different parental controls here. You get that night light across the bottom that you can control as well as the power off timer and the button sound effects and volume. The Tony Box also has some advanced uh, setting options I wanted to point out. I'll demo this later, but there is tap and tilt. So you either tap or tilt the Tony Box itself and that'll adjust what's playing. And then here's a look at the Yodo advanced settings. Um, so you have the option to make those buttons um, have special shortcuts. So you can shortcut to the podcast, you can shortcut to a toothbrush timer. Um, so that's kind of a cool little treat here. You can also uh, scan your card onto your phone and it'll play just like a podcast from the app on your phone. StoryPod has an iCrafty, which is the recordable yarn character. You can record up to 100 minutes through the app where you can invite family and friends to record songs, stories, um, or really any cute message they want to send. All their crafties are adorable yarn characters, um, no choking hazards, they're washable, and they have a magnet on the bottom. Tony does have a creative Tony where you can record up to 90 minutes of audio. It didn't come with, so unfortunately I don't have one to show. And then the Yodo comes with your make your own Yodo card. This is up to six hours of space to record audio. StoryPod comes with crafties. They're for ages zero and up. They're washable and have no choking hazards. Um, they're about four inch, cute little yarn characters, um, full of original content. So there are some recognizable lessons, fables, stories, but all that audio content is original. Um, they're really great to form a bond with and, and your kiddo will, will love to play with these. I know my son does. StoryPod's books are great for a multi-sensory experience for your kiddos. They can follow along with their eyes and ears. It really makes learning fun and it starts to get them interested in books, which is awesome. The trivia cards are for ages five and up. Um, you get to use those interactive buttons on top to answer the questions. Um, and again, just a fun learning experience. Here's a look at the Tonys. They're for ages three and up. They are washable, hand-painted, hard plastic toys. They're about two inches in size. Um, and they also do have that magnet on the bottom. Tonys are known for their recognizable characters like the Paw Patrol and also licensed Disney characters. The Yodo cards are for ages three and up. I'd say the ideal age is around six. They're plastic cards, so there's not really a play factor involved. Um, they do have a huge library of content, but that can also get expensive uh, per card.
simply place or tap the crafty on top of the story pod to hear your audio. Another great thing about story pod is even if the crafty comes off, the audio will continue to play so your kids can play with their crafties while listening at the same time. Tap the book or trivia card on top of the story pod and use the interactive buttons to answer questions. Place the Tony under the Tony box to hear your audio. Unlike the story pod, if your Tony character comes off the top, your audio will stop. So your kids cannot play with it or interact with it um, while they're listening to the different songs and stories. I also wanted to demo that tap and tilt option in the settings I showed in the app. Um, it's a great innovative idea. However, when it comes to my toddler uh, hitting and tapping the side of the Tony box, um, the Tony is sliding around and has even fallen off. Place a Yodo card into the Yodo Mini to hear your audio. Similar to the Tony box, if you take out that card while it's playing, your audio will stop. So once again, you cannot interact with what is playing that audio content. StoryPod is for ages 0 to 6, ideally preschool, and I love that it's screen for entertainment, but also a learning companion. I can see it improving reading skills and language development in my two-year-old son as he gets older. Uh, the yarn characters are great for an emotional bond, and the interactive comprehension questions at the end of the books and with the trivia are awesome. The Tony Box is for ages 3 and up. Uh, I'd say the ideal age is between 3 to 6. Another great option for screen-free entertainment. Um, however, I would say the major appeal is the licensed Disney and other well-known characters um, that you can get. The Yoda Mini is for ages 3 to 12. Um, I'd really say age 6 and up. It's a screen-free entertainment, but there's no play factor involved, um, and it's much more of a listening experience. They have a huge library of contents, um, but when you compare the price per card to a streaming service, um, it's questionable which makes more sense.